What's going on? I want to shake things up a bit in today's video. I'm going to be coming at you with how to always be noticed or be able to enter into any conversation with anyone at any point in time. And it all begins right now. You see, I was hanging out uh, the other week with family and friends, and we were just celebrating my wife's birthday. It was a beautiful time. It was great, spectacular views, beautiful hikes, uh, awesome, awesome lake to swim in and to play in. We were just enjoying ourselves, fires and camping, the whole shit. Well, anyway, I was observing my my oldest son, and he was hanging out. He was chasing some tail, enjoying uh, some other teenage girls, that sort of thing. And I was just observing this whole situation. And it came to my attention that so many people don't understand their basic body language in attracting others to themselves. And so I just want to come at you with this, uh, basically two little tips for you today on how you can draw anyone in to have any conversation, whether that is trying to attract uh, some a member of the opposite sex, or whether that is trying to attract a business client, it will work with anyone, or whether it's just you walking through the store and you want to say hi to somebody, a complete stranger, this really is how to do it. The first thing is called hello, old friend. Hello, old friend is one of the easiest ways to get noticed, especially by a stranger. If you want to get the note, if you want to be, uh, get the attention of, um, uh, co-workers or uh, a boss or somebody that you want to invest in, this is a very easy way to do it. Basically, you greet this person with a broad smile and it should be a broad smile, but then also a warm smile. Slow it down. So don't just go, hey, how are you? But now you're greeting them with this. You're kind of going like this. You walk by them, you greet them with a broad smile. This goes like and then you make that eye contact with the smile about three seconds. One, two, three. And then you move away with the eye contact. But if you want to really get their attention, then you open up with small talk. Really simple. Hey, how are you? What have you been up to? Um, what are you doing here? Uh, what's the biggest thing that you need to get accomplished today? This is an easy way to simply generate conversation. Um, for my son at the lake, he could have gone, hey, how are you? Hey, have, y'all, have you tried out that rope swing? How, how long have you been coming to the Lake Muma? Any number of possibilities existed for him in that one moment. If you want to, like he did, get the attention of the opposite sex, then we're going to call this Hello Sexy. And instead of greeting them with a broad smile, we're going to greet them with an upper smile. And this is almost a, it's not a smirk, like, it's not a smirk because the smirk tells them that you're into yourself. So you're not smirking at them. But an upper smile suggests interest. So you're walking by them and uh, you make eye contact again, three to five seconds. But instead of giving them the broad smile, you're going to give them the upper smile. Slow down the smile, you're walking by, you make eye contact, and then into, into small talk. Really easy. For the eye contact, we're going to practice the Goldilocks roll. This is two to three seconds. In other words, you don't want it to be too much, you don't want it to be too little, you want it to be just right. Two to three seconds of eye contact, especially for the opposite sex, is ideal. And when you're making eye contact with a woman, Women typically like the eye contact a little bit more. If you're making eye contact with a man, especially if that's your boss or uh, somebody in an authoritative position over you, you don't want to make eye contact for a long time because that suggests to them that you're trying to compete with them. Okay. So with females, females like it a little bit more. They're a little bit less insecure when it comes to eye contact than their male counterparts are. So keep that in mind as you're practicing these things. But this is one, <laughs> these are two really easy ways, whether that you're trying to get the attention of a stranger, to a coworker, to somebody of an authority, or you're trying to get the attention of the opposite sex and be noticed and enter into some sort of conversation. These are just really simple body language ways, eye contact and smile ways to do just that. Now let me tell you what not to do. 
you don't want to greet them with this. That little lowercase smile suggests that I don't have any interest. I would do that if I was walking by anyone. And if you notice, when people walk by and they, if they make eye contact with somebody at the store, that's what they do. They, that, that's, that's not a I'm interested in you smile. If you want to get their attention, you smile big. If you want to get the attention of, of the opposite sex that you're interested in, you give them the... Those, that's an enormous difference. And the other thing is don't overdo it with the eye contact and don't underdo it. That go to locks roll is really important. So don't give them the small smile. But if you're walking by somebody of the opposite sex and you go, hey, how you doing? That can sometimes work too, but it's typically not suggesting I'm really interested in you sexually as much as it is I'm interested in you in a general sense of the word. So now that you're in power with those things, go out, practice, drop some comments. After you try it, drop the comments below. But the bigger thing is now you'll notice when you're not doing it right. Open your body language up, stand up, posture, stand up straight, be confident in yourself. I guarantee you'll be noticed. I guarantee you this will work. I hope you have a fucking phenomenal day. And remember, the more you awaken, the more you play.